In the Earth Year, 1993, the state of Florida was devastated by a cataclysmic geological phenomenon known as sinkholes. Hardest hit was a region called Palm Beach County. In the late spring of that year, sinkholes began appearing at an alarming rate, sometimes as many as a hundred a day, until this formerly vibrant community, once teeming with life, was reduced to a barren wasteland. All signs of civilization having been swallowed into the very bowels of the earth. One hundred years later, an intrepid band of nucleologists mounted a perilous expedition to uncover the secrets of that once powerful and highly advanced society. What they found would alter their lives forever. This is the story of those dauntless few who will be forever known as Calvert's Architects.
tell you that if you have a dream, that dream can be yours. But you have got to want it more than anything else in the world. Our particular profession is very difficult. But everybody is looking for a good actor, or a good dancer, or a good writer. Anybody want to be a writer? I cannot tell you how important the writing is, because the writing is first. Everything stems from the writer. What is acting? Acting is 5,000 years old, and it illuminates the world for everybody else. It holds culture up to a mirror. It holds society up so that we can take a look at ourselves. Who is better than you are? Who is better than anybody sitting here? Nobody. Nobody is better than you are. That is so important, I can't even begin to tell you. I don't know you, we've never met before, and I'm here to tell you, nobody is better than you are, because we are all the same. And if you have a fire in you, if you have a passion in you, then you will rise to the top. The best thing about the dark room is the dark room. See, everyone knows that I'm the best person that ever walked the face of this earth, and they just can't cope with that. Scott especially has this big problem. many students 
what exactly their um, opinions are of the different candidates that were running for presidency. As you must know, Clinton has won the election, but we just want to turn back time and see what these people were we thinking play about song before Clinton won. Ah. Are you feeling that, man? Yes. Yes. That? Yes, I'm getting Ew. ill. I got a hair in my mouth. That's not, that's not uh, significant right now. Who did you want to win, exactly? Well, I preferred Perot myself, but I don't know. Just because I think he's less of a slime ball than the other two. But it's very, you know, important. Yeah, so did you think all of them were basically slime balls or just sort of... Well, like basically, but Perot was, was less of a slime ball. Bit less. Okay, so this man's concerned with fractions. Let's go. Before, um found out who was our new president, who were, in your own opinion, who did you like? Bill for? Clinton. Bill Clinton. That's great. And you, so you're happy here. Well, right? I'm ecstatic. Ecstatic. You look it. I mean, <laughs> I wanted Bush back. That's what I wanted. So you're Perot, I think, well, I think he's a quitter. And I don't like him because he sure talks like this. See? See? Like that. This bugs me. And Clinton. You can never trust these actors. You know. And Clinton, I just don't trust the guys. You know. Just a liar, I think, you know, sort of like that, you know? And anybody dodges the draft, I mean, come on, that is un-American, come on. So he's all Clinton, folks, all Clinton. All Clinton, what are you talking about? Bush. 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 You're a Bush man? Yes. He's a Republican. Bush. Bush. I was voting very much for Bill Clinton. Um, why is that? Why, because he was very, um, pro-art and pro-choice, pro definitely. George Bush did not want to fund the National Endowment for the Arts, and, um, Bill Clinton was very much for pro-gay yeah, rights, and uh, Filming George Jim. Bush was a bit of a racist. That's and a great. That's it. I, I really supported Bill Clinton, and I didn't know who, uh, no, I knew who Ross Perot was, but really did not much care. Thank you. Now we're heading over to the visual arts wing, where we will get more abs abstract views. They didn't have an opinion. See? Yeah. That's what you get. Visual artists, no opinion. No. You haven't even heard the question yet, man. Chill out. No. Okay, who did you like for president? I wanted Clinton to win. That's great. All right. You guys, Miller's putting Miller. And what about you? Miller! That's it. I wasn't interested. What did I tell you about visual artists? Oh, anarchy forever. I don't really believe in that. Clinton, do you all, do you like him because of his you know looks and his hair? No, I'm anti-Bush though. Just about anything looks better than Bush. Yo pienso que George Bush, and es decir, es el mejor presidente a través de todo el mundo, en todos los países. Ha hecho muy buena, muy buenas relaciones en todo el mundo, y ha manejado muy bien toda la mundialmente ha manejado muy bien toda la política. My pensamiento. Pro is no. awesome. We need a businessman in office to take care of our four trillion dollar debt deficit. Well, I preferred Bush. George Bush. And why is that? Because, well, first of all, Perot, I thought it was a joke. Okay. Thought he was smart, but and I thought he was a joke. And Clinton, I don't really trust him because I was swaying towards Clinton. So but you must be happy he won. Yes, I'm very happy. But I was swaying to Perot if Clinton hadn't won. I wasn't swaying on Bush, you know. Exactly. Right. Bush is through. We need change, right? We need change. No more swaying. All right. No more swaying, she said. No more swaying. Stand still. Hey, that's a wrap. Yesterday, students and faculty who live in North County found the ride home was a little slower than usual due to a large sinkhole that took up two full lanes of I-95 just before the Palm Beach Gardens exit. Road crews worked through the night to repair this hole for morning traffic. There will be no track and field practice this afternoon due to the giant sinkhole on the playing field. Italian. Oh, I'm rich, definitely rich. 
you're a, um, right? A, uh... I, I'm, I'm an architect. No, that's why we're on this blind date here. Obviously, to find out about each other. Why I agree to do this? This is stupid. I mean, everybody ever go out with dies out. I mean, what? You guys eat? I mean, there's no point eating. There's no point doing anything because everybody's gonna die. <laughs> this is where it gets complex. She started going off about the uh, problems in the world today. Oh, about not eating because Ethiopian and Somalian and Korean children were starving. Okay, uh, hey, that was a. Uh, I want to go. I want to go. Scene. All right. From nothing. From nothing. From nothing. Excuse me. Hello. 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 You so hot you couldn't even stand. Oh, and now he's talking. Is that an invitation? No, I was just saying. Okay, okay. No, I'm just saying that. You pose and say, ha ha, I got you. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Go on. Theater, let me tell you what theater means to me. I look at theater and I think of sentimental times, which I can look back to as I get older. All those times with those wonderful teachers. I feel so special because I'm in theater. Yes, us theater people are more gifted in a sense. See, we all are three sizes taller than everyone else. I love theater. Theater means lots of money. Blah, blah, blah. Theater is okay with me. Uh, to me, theater means uh, creativity, uh, self-expression, the ability to, you know, take on another character, another person, and at the same time express your desires, wants, and needs through that other character. Hi, my name is Kim, and I'm here with a student from the technical theater department. Hi, I'm AJ. I'm in technical theater. And what do you do in the technical theater department? In technical theater, we build sets. We mostly use platforms and flats. Uh, we also we also uh, do lighting and sound for performances. Not to mention Mr. Pinkney, who is teaching costuming. Uh, that's part of technical theater. Also, uh, I would say direction. There's a little student direction and certain certain things. I don't know. So I can cut that out. He's so experienced.
Another large sinkhole appeared this morning in Royal Palm Beach, taking with it Mr. Velt Newley's chicken coop and prize John Deere tractor. Thankfully, no chickens were injured.
relationship between injury and pain? Injury causes pain. Injury causes pain. Okay, so we've got a cause and effect relationship. So we're going to look for the same cause and effect relationship in this. How about sharp and pointed? Same thing. Synonyms. Okay. So we're left with only one. Two. Anybody miss number two? Sharp and pointed. What you didn't mark it wrong? I didn't mark it wrong. You're lucky. I missed it. You're here substituting for Mr. Farquhar. Farquhar. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He knew he would be out today, so we were trying to arrange yesterday to get coverage. Yes. And there's such a shortage in Palm Beach County for subs for some reason. Right. That this is why guidance counselors and I guess anyone else at school who's available has to, you know, fill in when there's not enough to go around. But it's interesting. There it is, working so hard on geometry. <laughs> Get that thing out of here. Aha. Uh -huh. Look, learning through osmosis. That's what this is. No clue what I'm doing. Yes, it is. Really? Regular, they give you odd problems that don't exactly fit on like graphs like this. Uh huh. Algebra 2 honors is a lot easier. Because they'll give you parabolas that don't actually fit. It's not related around zero, zero. It's related like around like one, one or something. So, Miss Myers, what class are you teaching now? Algebra 1 honors. Algebra 1 honors? What are you actually teaching? Graphing straight lines today, Carl. Graphing straight lines? Could you teach me how to graph a straight line? You should already know how. Well, for our home viewers, back in TV land. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would take too long for me to show you. But just y equals mx plus b, and then... They don't know that yet. They're still making tables. Oh. But hopefully by the end of today, they'll discover that. They're still making, they're still making tables. <laughs> like desk tables? Yes, AJ's very good at it. AJ makes tables. Yes. AJ makes tables. <laughs> he wanted to make one for extra credit. Uh, what, did you tell him that he could not make a table for extra credit? Yes, I'm afraid I did. You told him he couldn't make a table? No, I told him he couldn't. Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> Where are you going, Miss Wayne? She's getting away. Quickly, the video yearbook crew stalks its prey. Our PE class is really fun. We get to do our homework well in our spare time. Yeah. <laughs> but Mr. Mulder is really cool because he likes us to do our homework because he really believes in academics. He thinks that he's stupid. <laughs> Not really, just we do. We just say he does. Yeah. See, my name is Mike. And Mike likes cameras. Yes.
see what six second pulls are going to be able to okay? We're going to count to six, add a zero, see if our pulses go up when we're out in the air, okay? Ready, set, count. Stop. 80. 80, all oh, right, 80. 70, 80. 70, 80. 70, 80. Notice how, even though we're on the air, our pulse rate stays down because we're professionals, okay? <laughs> we're not going to let something like this thrill us off track, are we? Are we? Are we? Geometry. And I don't understand any of the questions. Yes, this is a vocabulary worksheet. It's a very interesting vocabulary worksheet. And I recommend it to anyone that's interested in enhancing their vocabulary. This is theater history.
have spirit and everything for our school. I mean, last year they didn't like it because we went against the other departments. It sucked because we lost. So I was got out of high school. Baseball. It was a release. It was, it was non-sexist. It was non-derogatory. It was exciting. It was, it was good. <laughs> Unfortunately, the county administration doesn't feel that way, but hey, who am I to say, you know? <laughs> I'm only a small, little insignificant teacher here. It actually deals with the kids directly in a classroom. It was fun? Yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed it. I, I liked it a lot. Really? Yeah, I've never been to the spring week, but I'm looking forward to next week. Department. So it wasn't as much like awards as it had been in past years. And theater winning, uh, what could we say? It was fun. It was fun. It was great. It was great. Was I here that week? <laughs> First finger on C. Why do I say that? What do you mean, first finger? Hmm? And then we'll stop. First finger on G, first finger on C at the beginning, the very beginning of the movement. I don't, I can't do 
Just sitting here. He's just sitting here. And accidentally hit a tree. And then what should the chorus be? Oh, now I'm covered with lawn clippings. Now I'm covered with lawn clippings. <laughs> sinkholes yesterday up from three the day before. Palm Beach County residents are beginning to worry. 
Some are planning extended out-of-state vacations for the summer, taking a wait-and-see approach to the problem. Uh, the only thing else I'd like to add is 2 plus 2 is 4.
Mary Poppins. <laughs> Planet of the Apes. Pigs in space. Boomerang. 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 Got more money. My favorite movie is The Godfather. One, two, and three. My favorite movie is uh. I like Aladdin. Indecent proposal. That was good. I don't have one. Mr. Giggle. No, Dr. Giggle. Indecent proposal. I follow you around. Oh, that is good. Too. Cuffs. All right, Jack. Christian Slater. Boomerang and who's the man? Boomerang. And boys in the hood. And what? Boys, boys in the hood. Who's that city? It's Wait. waiting. The woman's snot face. What's Heather's. Snot face. It goes snot oh. face. <laughs> Drop dead Fred. Drop dead Fred. The field of dreams. Unlawful lantern. Yeah, this. Yeah, that was good. It means expression, and we as artists know expression. Is that good? Yeah? Uh, yeah? I said 
residents were shocked that the sinkhole consumed the entire lake. Seven sinkholes today in Palm Beach County. Administrators are worried that tourism might be affected. with its rhythm and um, the Middle Eastern instrument that it has in it. Um, I really liked it a lot. Um, so I chose that music to do my student choreography too. Um, that's pretty much why I chose, or how I chose it. I really liked the song, even in the beginning. I liked it when it first came out. And dancing to it, is, it's a lot of fun. I really like it. It's, I like the accents and I can hear it. And I, I try my hardest to feel it the way she wants it done. Jamie's a great choreographer, and she has a lot of ideas and great stuff to do. I know that you 
you got soul. There it is, put the eight in a hole. Um, I chose this song because um, Hitman because it got everybody so hyped up and you know it gets people in the mood and they all cheer and everything so it's, it's kind of like a good feeling and everything. We've done this for three years. This is our third student choreography concert. It's probably the strongest concert that we've done. The students only were given uh, 10 days of rehearsal. So while this was put together with 10 days of rehearsal, today's the dress rehearsal, tomorrow's the performance. So normally for a show six to eight weeks is pretty much what they're given in two weeks. We'll take a look at uh, our audience. We know our audience is first a student audience and a parent audience. We look at material that's appropriate for that. Uh, we look at a reflection of what the students have been doing here this year. So the selections are based on what we want this department to do. I think it'll probably be Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton? Please take your seat so we can get started, please. Please take your seat.
We must not hesitate to stand up and be heard for what we believe. That is what's brought our young school as far as it has, and I hope to see it excel. But we must create a strong present before dwelling in the future. So let's build character. We'll go Danielle Wilson for being here. Thank you. I stood before you for the first time in 1991. My first year, I asked for your support in building a foundation. The past two years, together, we built a council. And the person you elect next year must be able to continue to build with strength, dedication, leadership, and commitment. This is the job of student council president, and yours is to choose the person best for it. Thank you very much. So who are you going to vote for for president? I don't know. <laughs> How about you? Do you know who you're going to vote for? No comment. Vote Mo. Vote Mo. Who are you going to vote for? Natalie. Natalie? Natalie for president. Did this assembly help you decide who you're going to vote for? Yeah. Excuse me, have these wonderful speeches help you make up your mind? I love the second hour. Vote George Bush. Who are you voting for for president? Student council is nothing but a worthless rubber stamp. Next year, I'm running for president. I'm going to win it. I'm going to win it because I'm a man. They can't talk. They don't know what they're talking about. And highlight simply disappeared when a large sinkhole appeared just north of 45th Street. Large section of Delray Beach simply vanished when a sinkhole appeared at the beach today. When a former computer graphics teacher from the School of the Arts was swallowed up by a giant sinkhole in front of an IBM plant, no IBM computers were lost. Yeah, that was
from me! Satan is your friend. Hello, I'm just kidding. I'm Jewish. If this is on video, you're like, I'd like to say something. Okay. Mistress, that. Come on, girl. Whatever. Well, I didn't mean a word of it.
weapons. He fought for freedom and fair laws for everyone, black and white alike. Martin R. M. L., as he was called, was born on January 15, 1929, in his grandparents' house in Atlanta, Georgia. M. L. found that he could only drink from those water fountains marked color and had to sit in the back of the movie theater. The laws that kept black and white people apart were known as Jim Crow laws. While at Morehouse College in Atlanta, ML decided to be a Baptist minister like his father and grandfather before him. When he preached a trial sermon at Ebenezer Baptist Church, large crowds of people came and liked what they heard. Martin became pastor of the Dexter Avenue Baptist Church in Montgomery, Alabama in May of 1954. That same month, the Supreme Court, the highest court in the nation, ruled that all schools should be open to blacks and whites. So let freedom ring from the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire. Let freedom ring from Stone Mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and molehill of Mississippi. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And when this happens, when we allow freedom to ring, when we let it ring from every village, and every hamlet, and every city, and every state, we will be able to bring about that day when all of God's children, white men and black men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, 
will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual. Free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last.
What do you like, music. Sarah? Question is, what well, kind of music do you listen to? Quickly. Strange, because I, I don't really listen to, I will listen to like 95.5 and all that, but mainly, I just... No, hi, my name is Natasha Sharon. I like to listen to all kinds of music. Listen to all kinds of music? I listen to everything. All kinds of music. Like all kinds, really. I will not be like a generic teenager in this school and say all types of music. Very interested in soul, like old soul, like Otis Redding. And lately, I've been listening to a lot of Billie Holiday. I like some. You like country western? Some. I like Simply Red. Hi, Sarah. I do like a lot of contemporary stuff too. However, I will not be like a genetic teenager in this school and say all types of music because I don't go home and listen to Hungarian chants. What about you, Amanda? I personally don't listen to Hungarian chants either. I listen to Do It All. I listen to classical too. I listen to heavy metal. Oh, that's what I like at least. I don't like heavy metal. I don't like heavy metal. Metallica. Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam. Uh, I like Ed Vogue. Uh -huh. I like, um, I don't like old jazz. Everyone has some like older tastes. I like Otis Redding. She likes Crystal Gale. <clears throat> Does that woman cut her hair yet? Right? <laughs> that woman's hair was she cut gets her headaches down to her feet. No, she how gets headaches the, how she her her hair. How did she wash it? I want to know how Crystal Gale washed it. I bet her eyes are Crystal, crystal Gale. Vanilla Ice Man. We listen to Vanilla Ice Man. He is so cool. He is so I listen to rap music. I love Cool J. I like a new type of rap music that's out with a mixture of jazz and rap. School of Fish, the Vaselines. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Arrested Development, Enigma, basically what's on the, whatever's on the radio. It's I Got It Man, right? That's the best song. Oh, I love Come on, here, Kylo. Not shy. This is my friend Carlos, right? You like Carlos, okay? Yeah. I like Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, I like I like the Indigo Girls. I like Katie Lang. I like all music. I'm very versatile. See? See, <laughs> See how generic they are? <laughs> she did not like music. all music. Specifically, she Shakira. All... Do you listen to Hungarian chants? Yeah. Wait, wait. Home, okay. home, no, home. No, simply. Yeah. How did Crystal Gale watch? Yeah. Who's Crystal Gale? Go. And India, soft meditation. And Bonnie Ray. And some grass books. And, well, Pearl Jam, of course. Pearl Jam. That's what I said yesterday. Pearl Jam. Do you hear that? Whatever. I love Michael Jackson, though. I have some just strange guy that's waiting for the computer, but I usually listen to pop. Well, I like uh, some popular music, and I like country music. All right, all right, this is what we want you to do, all right? This is not that hard. All you have to do is read off these cards. They're going to be right back here. Look into the camera, smile, be natural. It'll be great, all right? You ready? Here we go. Soul and rock. I listen to station 96.5 and 99.1. And I like for rock, I like to listen to 98.7. And I guess I kind of lean pretty heavily towards rock jazz. It's probably my favorite kind of music. Something that hits the soul and makes you move. All right, cut. That was great.
works with an earthquake, birds and snakes and airplane. Lenny Bruce is not afraid. Hi, and welcome to Emotion. Today we have a special edition with my co-host, Mr. Ed Dewey. Good morning, students and staff. Attention all. She's a small, She's a small under, under. It's a large disaster. And this is a very special song to me, so I ask for your deepest condolences. Oh, McDonald had a farm. Yeah, yeah, oh. And all <laughs> farm, he had some ducks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, I put the old El Blanc charm on her. I do love Matt. I do love Matt. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to continue with this going on. It, it actually implies that a woman should be allowed to have a job outside the home. This deaf, but I have blue. <laughs> but our guest today feels he looks so good and so gorgeous, yeah. he cannot leave his house because women will flock to him and cause riots and possibly hurt him. Yellow ungulates flying, trying to show their pain. But no! You do not hear them. Well. Yeah. Enjoyed doing this with you. Thank you very much. You did a very fine job. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed our special announcements today. We thank Mr. Dewey You're from welcome. the bottom of our hearts. Thank you. And we sign off saying goodbye. <laughs> that I've had here. Um, it's not actually been during filming, it's been while we're waiting for the people to set up, it's been talking to Burt Reynolds, see what he's really like. He's been telling his past and what his experiences were. Just knowing what he's gone through, he's been teaching us, and everything, every mistake that he's ever made, he's probably made a lot in his movies, and he's taught us all of them, and he's been teaching us a lot. And whatever we're learning in school is what he's teaching us. What's amazing is that you know, I, I did a picture called Cop and a Half and they went all over the United States trying to find this young man. And I read over a thousand kids and uh, we, we read about uh, 25 to get 20. So uh, uh, it's, it's amazing the talent that's right here. All the encouragement, there's a lot, a lot of encouragement and, uh, from everybody, the producer, even you know the grips, when you hear it from uh, everybody, it's just, it helps you so much, and, um, and just getting to meet people. Uh, I, I, I miss geometry, chemistry, oh, the whole deal, man. I, I miss I, I being miss in school. Kids, I've seen them operate computers and do things that you would never believe for physically challenged kids. And it's, to me, it's, uh, it's absolutely inspirational to see what they can do.
When part of the tri-rail line running through Lake Worth fell into a sinkhole yesterday... There is very little of Palm Beach County that hasn't fallen into a sinkhole at this point. Ten more sinkholes appear in Palm Beach County. Residents are fleeing as fast as they can pack. When Jupiter Farms, Lake Park, Riviera Beach, Green Acres, Loxahatchee, and Boynton were all suddenly hit with sinkholes. So many sinkholes on I-95 and the Turnpike that fleeing residents without four-wheel drive are finding themselves stranded, sometimes for days. Many public buildings, as well as homes and office buildings, have been consumed. And Palm Beach County has been returned to its original unpopulated condition, with not a building left standing anywhere. And today, the number of sinkholes has increased by... <laughs> My God, what is that? Whoa! Yesterday, students and faculty who live in North County found the ride home was a little slower than usual due to a large sinkhole that swallowed up almost two full lanes of I-95. Just before the Palm Beach Gardens exit, workers worked through the night to repair this hole. I'm sorry, I'll do it again, I promise. Yesterday, students and faculty who live in North County found the ride home was a little slower than usual due to a, a sinkhole that took up, never mind, I'm not going with that take. Hold on. Yesterday, students and faculty who live in North County found the ride home was a little slower than usual due to a large sinkhole that took up two full lanes of I-95 just before the Palm Beach Gardens exit. Rose Cruz worked through the night. What the <laughs> I just say? Road crews worked through the night to repair the gaping hole before Monday traffic. However, that's not doable, so let's try it again. Just tell me if I am not messing up on this copy real good. Did I say Rose Cruz? So she turned the camera and everything goes sideways. Going I'm sideways. just trying to get a tall angle. Did I say Rose Cruz? <laughs> Yesterday, students and faculty who live in North County found the ride home was a little slower than usual due to a large sinkhole that swallowed up two full lanes of I-95 just before the Palm Beach Gardens exit. Road crews worked through the night to repair this... this... I can't believe I'm doing this. I, I don't understand. Here we have cut one, cut two, cut three, cut four, and all these numbers in between. Okay. Yo, what's up? Yo, I'm ice. There is very little of Palm Beach County that hasn't as yet fallen into a sinkhole. Now, a lot of it has <laughs> seven sinkholes today in Palm Beach County. Administrators are worried that, that tourism, that sinkholes will fall into tourism, will fall into sinkholes. So seven or eight sinkholes in Palm Beach County. I don't know how many, but tourism could be affected. Swallowed up by an enormous sinkhole. Uh, it had to be 50 feet wide to swallow that guy up. So many sinkholes on I-95 in the Turnpike that fleeing residents are finding themselves all over the place. Like, I see one there, and I see one there. Video yearbook, we do stupid things like this. You. Wellington residents were shocked that the sinkhole can... <laughs> I don't want to say that word. Consume. This is what I'm doing. Three hours before my 18th birthday. Cool or what? I'm 
so ready, it's unbelievable. There <laughs> okay, I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> Are you ready? There will be no track and field. <laughs> oh, you're going to have to take this apart in 30 minutes. <laughs> can you do it? We need super fast man. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. okay. It might look hokey. It might look zip damn the hokey. Up. No, him, him, him. Go, go take him. He's the important one. He's the director. I'm just the executive. I'm just the star. I'll be right here. You point the camera. You point the light at. The, point the light at the camera, and then just off. Then you start walking over here. I assume we would all be going. And you kind of head over into that corner. And you go up to the anchor stand, okay? And at that point, you can just kind of chill over there. Just move your flashlight around in case someone picks you up. This is a guy who worked on last year's video yearbook. He isn't doing too well. It was, a, it was a tough shoot. He's behind that curtain. Carl walks up to it with his flashlight. I need my flashlight. And uh, all of a sudden, I see the, the silhouette the of the uh, skeleton. Where'd your flashlight go? And then do another OS over the floor. Oh, sexiest man alive. Okay, put on your suit. Okay, um. This shoes now. Okay. 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 Kelly, oh, our personal zip-up assistant. I love it when she zips me. in the child display. And also, come on, MC Hammer. Yeah. I tell you, this is. Oh, can you take your glasses off? Okay, listen, here's what you're doing. Now you like to walk in the door, shine them around a lot, make sure you hit the lens, cross the lens. Should we stay close? Um, yeah. Uh, group together. Yeah, sure. You're looking around. You go by the first camera, okay? You go by the first camera, guys. Listen to this. First camera, you look at it, you shine a light on it, you go to the next one. Uh, you find the uh, skeleton in the camera, you walk around it. Around the skeleton okay. the like this is the back corner and there's the sound set, I mean the news set. So you come around the camera, you look at it, you walk over here, you find the skeleton at the desk, you're looking at it, and you put your lights on Palm Beach School of the Arts on the T-shirt. Okay. Okay. And that, that'll be our first shot. All right. Are there any mic... Hey! Are there any mic sets out that? there? Chris? You get a little behind-the-scenes footage, a little okay. making of the video yearbook action. Right. Look busy, look important. Stand by remote to fog. <laughs> Here's AJ running the fog machine. Very tired. It's been a long day. <laughs> it sounds like truth and, or dare. And these, and these. Yeah, we're gonna gather in a circle and we're gonna pray in a minute. Okay, here we go. We're, we're okay. May, may Allah bless us on the video shoot. Oh, and let's hope we don't get arrested in Montreal. <laughs> Where's Mecca? We got a pit of Mecca. It's steps to west. Uh, you should. Uh, you should be just on his right. Right. So you should be just the, just a half step ahead of him as he progresses.
Start walking towards the control room. Starting to keep shining the light towards the studio. Watch out. Walking towards the control room. Keep walking towards the control room. Go, 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 go. You ready? Yeah. And action! And go. Get to the box. Get that puppy. Every time. Every time. Kill the light. Kill the light. Kill the light. Kill the light. Oh. Great. Okay. Let's unzip them. Holy cow. Okay, go out and sit in the air a minute, and then, then we'll, we'll, we'll get you guys coming in and finding the box. Can you go bring the box? Yeah. This is really... Where do we want to do the... Uh, you got to have the party with the foot. You got the rolling on the foot? We can do that at the end. Okay. So where do we want... What? The We go to the ends of the earth for you. Uh, that was really clever of the agency to put our headquarters in this school. No one would ever suspect it. We need somebody to get this job done, and we need them to get it done fast. Uh, boss! Unless you have a solution to the problem, I advise you stay quiet, all right? Okay. Boss! I thought I told you to shut your trap. I have an answer! Where? I do. Really, 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 really super fast guy can help with problems. Call 555 fast. This is it! What'd you say the number this was? Duh! 555 fast! Uh, yes. No, no, not from. Are, are you the really super fast guy? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, do you think this is, we're from the School of the Arts and we desperately need your help? Do you think you could come and help us? Yes. No, no, no. We wouldn't ask that. Uh, on the side parking lot, you think you could meet us there? A side parking lot in five minutes? Oh. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yo, uh, you might want to take this with you. Could be a while before it gets here. Are you the real fast guy? Yes, I am super fast man. Where's your costume? I have transformed into my secret identity. Just how secret is your identity? Do you recognize me? Okay, listen, this is your mission. It's a very simple but dangerous one. I need you to run over to 200 wing as fast as you possibly can and somehow make it up to the second floor past the guard without being detected. I need you to go to locker number 739 and I need you to open the locker with this combination, locker 739. 
and after you open it and get the box, I need you to meet me in room 309. Be very careful because it could be guarded by S-men and his ninjas. Meet me in room 309. How much do I get paid? We'll discuss your salary later. Just get the job done, okay? Uh, hey, by the way, just, just how fast are you? Look down. Okay, ha, 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 very funny, very funny. Just get the job done, okay? Maybe this will be easier than I thought. You the yes man. What's the yes stand for? Spatula. <laughs> Do you got a problem with that? Is that a giant pancake behind you? Darling. <laughs> 